We have a large coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth strike zone. And last time around, this coronal hole gave us a big solar storm. Will it bring us more aurora? Those stories and more in the news this week. Space weather this week continues to be pretty exciting. We have a dark coronal hole that's shaped kind of like a horse galloping across the sun this week. It's going to be entering the Earth strike zone in just a couple days, and it could give us a decent solar storm. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this coronal hole. About a month ago, it gave us a moderate level storm and brought aurora down to mid latitudes for an extended period. This time, we don't expect the storming to be quite so strong, but we could still see uh, aurora for a couple days at least to high latitudes, maybe for a short while down at mid-latitudes. Now, meanwhile, you amateur radio operators have also got to be loving life. We have region 2712, along with a couple other bright regions that are still keeping the solar flux boosted into marginal radio propagation conditions for you guys. Now, as some of these regions rotate off of the sun's west limb, we have no problem because we've got another region that's going to be rotating into Earth view here in the next couple days. So that will continue to boost the solar flux and continue to keep radio propagation looking good. Switching to your M-flare threat meter, you can see back on the 22nd is when region 2712 really started showing some solar flare activity. You can see the X-ray flux boosted, which is a proxy for the solar flux. You can see the flares popping like that. But once region 2712 got really into Earth view, it kind of fell back asleep and it kind of snoozed for a bit. We saw a little bit more flare activity on the 28th and now it's snoozing again. And we see a little hint of activity kind of close to the west limb, so I wouldn't be surprised if this region flared up one more time before disappearing behind the west limb. And this is good news for you amateur radio operators because it's going to uh, make sure that the solar flux is stays within the marginal radio propagation conditions, but we won't see any M flares from this region most likely. So rest easy, you should have some good propagation on the day side easily over the next week. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see we've been pretty quiet for quite some time. We've gotten a few disturbances here and there from pockets of fast wind, from remnant coronal holes, but really nothing that's popped us above uh, unsettled conditions. As a matter of fact, all we've done is bump up to unsettled conditions and then back down to normal and even quiet conditions, which is pretty much where we are now. But things will change very soon. As soon as we get the fast wind from this larger coronal hole, it could actually bump us back up to a solar storm. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you can see immediately is that there are some bright regions on the backside of the sun, which is great considering we're so close to solar minimum. So you amateur radio operators, you have some uh, good news ahead because even when region 2712 rotates off of the sun's west limb and out of Earth view, we have two new regions on the sun's backside that will replace it. Now your aurora photographer should also be happy because if you notice it looks like one of those regions might actually be firing some solar flares and maybe some mini solar storms. So possibly within the next two weeks or so this region will rotate into the Earth strike zone and we might get a mini solar storm fired at Earth. So we might get more chances for aurora. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that fast wind from that huge coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth strike zone. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting up to a moderate storm level. It's got about a 65% chance of a moderate storm starting in the first couple days in June. Now, at mid latitudes, we're only expecting active conditions, but we've got about a 30% chance of a minor storm. So this means aurora could dip down to mid latitudes for a short while and that should make your aurora photographers very happy and if this storm is anything like the storm last month from this same region we could continue seeing active conditions through the weekend and possibly even into the early part of next week before things finally begin to calm down.
Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is still in the green when it comes to solar flares. Region 2712 is the only numbered region on the Earth-facing disk right now, and it is definitely not an M-flare player. So you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you don't have to worry about radio blackouts. I don't think that's going to be an issue. The nice thing is that the region is boosting the solar flux and keeping us at marginal uh, radio propagation conditions and it will continue to do so even over the next week, possibly even longer than that, maybe the next two weeks, as we have two new regions from the sun's backside that will shortly rotate into Earth view. So the space weather this week is very exciting. We have a dark coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next couple days. And this brings a possibility of a decent solar storm. So your aurora photographers, get ready. You could have a good chance for some much needed aurora action. Now you GPS operators, you should be loving life on Earth's day side because there's no risk for radio blackouts or anything like that. Your reception should be good. But on the night side, once that solar storm hits, be sure to stay clear of aurora and also be very careful around the dawn dust terminators because that's where your reception could get a bit glitchy. And now you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you should also be loving life, especially so close to solar minimum, because the solar flux is still boosted and we are enjoying marginal radio propagation conditions, and this will last easily over the next week and possibly beyond that into the next two weeks as those two new bright regions rotate into Earth view. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.